Hi, Cat's Cradle here. I have a million projects going on today, but I'm making Italian for supper, and salad is part of our my plan, and I need to make some Italian salad dressing, and that comes at a very good time because this past Thursday on the Homestead Honey Hour, we talked about GMO foods and how to eliminate those from your diet, and one of the ways, especially women who eat a lot of salads, uh, the best way to eliminate those is to cut out commercially prepared salad dressing. They're loaded with soybean oil, and that's GMO. Pardon me while I stop my dog from crying. Prepper A is off school today, and she's outside with a couple of her friends, and they're bouncing a basketball. And that's Jack's very favorite thing in the world, and he wants to get out there to that basketball. So I think I've stopped him from crying for a minute. Anyway, somebody, I said in that show, any kind of dressing you can name, I can show you how to make that homemade. Well, somebody took me up on that. They said, oh, I use a lot of Italian dressing for marinating meat, for using on salads, for marinating cooked vegetables. Please show me how. And so here you go. I'm going to do it because I'm doing it today. Let me see if I can remember here everything I've put here. This is pink Himalayan sea salt. You can use any salt. This is parsley flake, sugar, uh, garlic salt, thyme, uh, oregano, black pepper. I throw a little red pepper in for good measure because we like that. If you don't, leave it out. This is celery salt, and this is, hmm, I don't know, let me smell it. basil, onion powder in the middle. There you go. I'm going to mix it all together, just like this. And then I'm going to put it in this jar. And then I'm going to make a little batch of it for you. I'm going to get all the dry seasonings together and put it right here in this jar. Okay, I called Pepper in for a basketball game. And what I've done, Prepper A, is here's the mix in the jar. I've already taken two tablespoons out. And then in this jar, I put the uh, vinegar, the water, the olive oil, and two tablespoons of the mix. You can see uh, the vinegar and the water is down here. The dressing is somewhere in the middle. The oil is floating on top. That's going to be really typical. The good thing about it is there's no stabilizers in here, no no gums, no any of that. It's, it's just what you put in. It's the natural ingredients that we like. You will have to stir it or shake it every time you use it, and it will mix up. You pour it on your salad. You let it sit for 10 minutes. It will separate again. That's to be expected. I did use nice extra virgin olive oil. This is where you want the good stuff. It's when you make salad dressing. This other lighter oil is for cooking and baking and those kind of things, but you want to use the good stuff when you, when you make salad dressing. So here we go. It's beautiful rich green in color. I've just put a little bit of greens on a plate for her so she can give it a taste test. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. Drizzle a little over for you. It looks Look beautiful. at that. Look how, oh wow. Okay, now Well, I'm not going to be able to get her to stop eating. I guess there's not going to be a taste left for me, but that's all right. Now, go ahead and eat. So, that's all. The video that almost didn't get made. Poor UPS man. I'm going to have to make him some cookies or something. Tell him I didn't mean to scream at him. So, go ahead and try it. I hope, that, I hope this helps you out and saves you a lot of money. It is so good. No GMO soybean oil in it. No stabilizers or emulsifiers. It's just all good ingredients that you put in. Cat's Cradle and Pepper A. We're out. <laughs> now that I've regained my composure, I thought I would tell you, there are on uh, the Kerr canning, uh, the ball canning jars on the side, there are some little measurements. If you just put your vinegar to two, that's two ounces. That's about a fourth of a cup. 
And then if you fill your olive oil almost to the one cup line, just a little shy, that is enough olive oil. And then all you have to put in is your two tablespoons of water and your dry mix and you're done. So you don't even have to get out a measuring cup if you make it in a canning jar. Anyway, just a little tip to make it easier. That's all.